In this video, we're going to go over a general rule of thumb for people that are office managers, people that are working in the office, um, perhaps even virtual assistants, anyone that's scheduling appointments um, and not quote preparation, but actually putting things onto the schedule. As a rule of thumb, um, there's several other videos that cover how much time to allocate for different types of appointments uh, as rules of thumb, okay? But you should schedule too much time for an appointment than scheduling too little time for an appointment, okay? I, so that's just to say, be conservative when it comes to scheduling. Um, I would rather you put too much time than too little time. Why that is, is several fold, okay? Number one is customers would rather us be early than late. And if we schedule uh, more time than is needed, then that would make us show up to that next appointment a little bit earlier than expected instead of being later than expected. Okay, customers are not happy when we show up 30 minutes, a half hour late or an hour late or whatever amount of time late. It makes us look very disorganized and ill-prepared because the, we kept the person waiting at their house an hour longer than uh, we told them that, that uh, we would. That's not a good look, but if we show up... Uh, if we are able to show up 30 minutes earlier than expected, then we can call the customer. We can give them the, uh, the forewarning that, hey, it looks like we're running a little bit earlier than expected at the prior appointment. There's a good chance we're going to be 30 or so minutes before the expected arrival time. Uh, is anyone home so that we can knock and get started? Uh, and hopefully they are. And even if they aren't, then we can start unpacking and getting prepared to get started. Or it, uh, uh, maybe kind of a middle ground is the person is not available, but they're okay with us getting started. We're so much better off being early than late. So that's the number one reason. Customers would rather us be early than late. Okay, the second reason is if we schedule not in enough time, then it may negatively impact the quality of the work that we can do because we're rushing to get everything done in that given day. You know, imagine having a packed full day and not enough time was scheduled for each of these appointments and to get done, uh, we're running through all these jobs, cutting corners and maybe forgetting things or forgetting to do a walk around with a customer or whatever. That's negatively impacting the quality of the work that we're doing. And the customer's paying a decent amount of money to have us do the job. Okay. That's not that we're not allowing our operation staff, the opportune, um, positioning to do their job well. So I don't want them rushing to negatively impact the quality of our work. That's the second reason. The third reason is it may push uh, your team member and employee to work more uh, or to work longer on a given day than expected. Like imagine having a six or seven hour workday scheduled and um, but we don't give them enough time. So then that day turns into a 10 hour day at worst. And like they have a family to get home to, for example, and They've got to go cook dinner or pick up their kids from soccer practice or whatever their responsibility set is. I'm not sure. Depends on the person, but it may push an, a person to work uh, way longer the day than expected. And maybe they didn't bring a lunch or whatever. Like that's not a good look for our team. Uh, so therefore, like that's another reason to not uh, to schedule too much time for an appointment than too little time is I don't want to turn a seven hour, se a seven hour work day to a 10 hour work day. Uh, the person, our team member, probably does not appreciate that. Uh, and the last reason, like selfishly for a business reason, it can make days longer than eight hours, and that could trigger overtime, which is operationally inefficient. Okay, if we have to work more than eight hours in a given workday, then we're probably better off scheduling that last appointment on a different day, because I would rather work a seven and a half hour day and then move that last appointment. Uh, to a different day so that we're not working more uh, than overtime, you know, more hours than eight because it triggers overtime. Uh, the only exception being like really, really busy times of the year, like uh, Thanksgiving week where we're doing a lot of Christmas lights or the couple weeks before or the week or so after, like that month may be the exception. But for several reasons, as stated here, you should schedule too much time for an appointment than too little time because customers would rather us be early than late. Uh, is number one. <laughs> number two is if we schedule not enough time, then it might negatively impact the quality of our work. Number three is it might push an employee to work a way longer day than is needed. And number four is uh, if we can avoid overtime, then we should try to avoid overtime.